Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I showcased Doug's machine work. And this gun, unlike any other, needs his exceptional detail machining skills. The next four minutes will tell the tale. Sit back, grab your favorite beverage, and enjoy. Before we get into details about the 17 HM Air Rifle itself, let's first look at the cast bullet I have chosen. It's the NOE 27 grain flat point pictured far left. It's only one of two bullet molds available. Both are from NOE. The one to the left is 27 grains and the other mold from NOE available is 32 grains. Here, the cast bullet is compared to size against other calibers. The last photo is the same bullet in hollow point configuration, which weighs 24.5 grains. At current power settings, the flat nose is traveling 960 feet per second. The hollow point at 24.5 grains is traveling 985 feet per second.
All right, guys, 960 feet per second. We have the 17 HM Air. That's a 172 caliber, 24 and a half grain hollow point. We are testing the brand new mold that just got hollow pointed by Eric at Hollow Point Bullet Mold Services. We're going to see if this bullet fragments, that's the, one of the key components to this gun, is to shoot it at a rate at which the bullet will expand violently and or fragment, um, mocking that of the actual 17 HMR rimfire round. We cannot get the speed, you're talking upwards of 2,600 feet per second. Even using helium, I mean, you know, 1,600, 14, I don't know, that's just a guess, but we're never going to get to 2,600. So, part of the thought process was to hollow point a bullet, still have it accurate, but have it to where it expands violently. A great mushroom would be really good, but if we can get it to fragment, that lets me know that I've achieved what I looking for so let's take a look it's 10 yards away 960 feet per second doing but let's go ahead and take another shot put it just below that one see if we get the same results at least this way whatever's going on in in video we can tell it's repeatable all right here we go Next shot, one, two, three. All right, check it out. Let's see what we got. All right, see some, oh, wow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Wow, look at that. Man, you remember that saying from uh, the A-Team? I love it when a plan comes together. This right here, I love when a plan comes together. I see why he said that so much. I am smiling ear to ear right now. Look at the fragments. You're talking roughly... Half, half an inch to five-eighths of an inch in, it's at its maximum expansion. Look at the cone here. As it comes in, it's starting to expand here, and as it goes, it's reaching maximum, maximum expansion. And as it gets here, it's starting to come apart. So here you have fragments. It's still coming apart, but getting smaller. There are more fragments. And as it goes here, it's still shedding more <laughs> fragments, man. That is retarded. And from the looks of it, I'm looking through the camera. I'm not looking at the soap with my eye. I'm looking through the camera. That looks like a mushroom. That looks like a mushroom. But I can't imagine leaving this much lead behind that there's much of a mushroom. It's probably just the core. Wow, man. Oh, my God. I'm excited. I am excited. All right, guys, let's go ahead and cut this soap open and let's take a look at some of the fragments and see what we got. I am tickle pink. I am thrilled to death. I am stoked. I am super excited. I'm in awe. All right, guys, stay tuned for part two, the field test, 17 HM air.